I traveled to a fabled stretch of land south of Amsterdam. Here, I find myself in an extraordinary place of cliffs and high winds. It is a luxurious but cold land, the Zydas. Can you hear it? The buildings are bragging. They say, I'm bigger than you. I am the best. The most successful, effective, and desirable sort of homo sapiens is supposed to be found among these behemoths of glass and steel. The bankers, lawyers, and consultants here to compete in a daily struggle for survival. For most people, each new day starts at the train station. They clamber out of packed carriages, looking miserable. Why is this place held in such high esteem? Working long hours, days, nights and weekends in those skyscrapers. The windows don't even open, withholding them from fresh air and the option of jumping out. Bankers, consultants and lawyers. Ah, those lawyers. They have to declare every six minutes of work in a great logbook. I'm not sure if it's horrible or hilarious. In exchange for your long hours, you might obtain power and wealth. That's a desirable result in terms of evolution. Mankind has no natural enemies left, except from other humans. This does not mean they're any less fierce than a wild animal. They carry no bows and arrows. Their brain is their weapon. Living like ants is not too unnatural for them. Hierarchy is very important here, shrouded in secrecy. The tribe elders huddle together to decide the fates of the younglings, while these younglings fight amongst themselves for survival in this cruel game. If your colleague does better than you, he will be able to buy a red Ferrari before you do. This is important, as the red color of a Ferrari attracts women, for whom it resembles the color of ripe fruit. <laughs> because, as in every part of our Earth, the females get to choose. They run this show. Everything men do is to win the love of women. Luckily for the men, Dutch girls, the most beautiful species in the world, can be found here as well. This male thinks that if he makes himself bigger, he will be seen by the females, but that doesn't work here. The females here know that the size of their future husband's brain is determining the chances of their offspring. Walking like a Neanderthal is something that only works in a place like Hmm, Almira. Maybe we can find out more about this during the collective feeding hour, lunchtime. The workers leave their high-rise working place only to feed themselves. In a hurry to get back to their attempted survival, they eat hastily and sometimes even devour their food on the move. These men have not properly understood the inherent rules of these parts. Successful animals appoint others to bring the food to them. This food is brought to them in paper bags, usually by enterprising females. If they choose their alpha males wisely, maybe someday this male will be able to buy that coveted red Ferrari for them. Men and women are severely different. Some call for a quota on females working here. Evolutionary speaking, this would be nonsensical. Young men wish for business success as it enhances their chances of having lots of sex with different women. For a woman, that makes no sense. She picks one husband for breeding. I have never met a woman who wants to buy her own Ferrari. It's a much more efficient strategy for a woman to invest in her looks and attract the right men. Here, you see a lot of high heels, a smart way of women to cheat nature. 
as these heels make the legs appear longer and the breasts more pronounced. This piece of land is all about showing off. That's why these achingly beautiful women come here as well. They are in search of stability, money and power. Their so-called Vara Jakob. It would be a rather interesting evolutionary experiment to cut off the Zydas from the rest of Holland. These smart bankers and lawyers would breed only with each other and create, in time, a new kind of species, a superhuman. A species that can predict stock markets and has lost its ability to blush. Bankers do not blush when they receive a bonus. A big risk, however, is that they work too much and stop breeding at all. Like the panda, who is too busy eating to have sex. It would make them extinct. Looking into the little caves filled with artificial light, as these worker ants look drearily at their glowing devices, maybe this would not be the most terrible of events. <laughs>